Hi everybody. I am back. We are in the camper. Oh, sorry for the, I got the mood lighting down on me again. And yeah, so we got Mr. Tan Man. We got up here late yesterday, so he stayed in his clothes, but we're gonna change him now. It's a little bit windy out. Um, I think at the end of this video, I'll put in the um, video, little short video I took when we got up here. I took a better picture of the lake that I could get this year that I didn't get in June when we came up. So you'll get a better picture of it. So I got his little shoes. And we are going to do a little morning routine because technically it's still morning. I think it's probably about 10 or so. And this is just not the year for us to go camping because in June, the tires blew on the camper. <clears throat> and then when he went out on the boat, the boat died. <laughs> and this year, I mean this year, this time when we came up, so far everything's good except for my truck, my Hummer. I drive that up and so I can tow the boat back home. Well, I drove it up here fine and then Jeff took it last night, or yesterday, they went fishing and the power steering went out and he just fixed this truck. So he doesn't want me driving it, he doesn't want me towing it. So when they get back from fishing, he is gonna go home, he's gonna drive it home, and he's gonna drop it off with our mechanic and find out what the heck is going on. So, yeah, it wouldn't be a good thing to tow home. So he's gonna go home, get the car, and come back. And meantime, Ariel was sick um, when he left on Saturday. That night, she started feeling really crappy. And she's like, Mom, I don't feel good. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, we'll just watch you and see what happens. And she went through the weekend. Each day, it got worse. And... Um, so Monday, I kept her home from school, and I felt fine until Monday afternoon, and I started feeling like crap. I'm like, what the heck? I do not want to get sick. And the only way for me to get sick is through her, because she's the one that went back to school. Well, she's had her um, vaccination, so she sh shouldn't get sick. It's been... A while and so I'm like crap so she stayed home and rested on Monday I started feeling the little sniffles and a little bit of a scratchy throat <clears throat> and so Tuesday morning I said do you feel good enough to go back to school and she said she did she didn't want to miss any more school because she was missing three days at the end of the week for us to come up here so she went to school and I said, well, if we have to, they send you home, then I'll just come get you. No big deal. Because she still had a little cough. She didn't never had a fever. She had a really boogie nose. I'm like, she's got a sinus infection. So I call the doctor Tuesday morning to get her in. So we get her in and she, he thinks right now it's viral, but it could turn bacterial like that, which I think it did. But anyway, he gave me an antibiotic for her. I started feeling kind of cruddy on Tuesday. And it was the same symptoms that she was having. They tested her for COVID. She didn't have COVID. I'm like, cool, we don't have COVID. And um, I brought her. She went on to go back to school, so I took her back to school. And by the time she came home Tuesday afternoon and stuff, I started really feeling ugh. <laughs> I had a little cough. I don't have a stuffy nose. I have a runny nose. 
And so, <clears throat> I'm like, crap. So I started taking some cold medicine, cough drops, you know, the whole deal. Because there's nothing they can do for you. Um, it just has to run its course. Now, if I start getting an earache or really bad sinus, then I can call them and say, hey, I think this is what's going on. And I'm hoping I'll make it until we get home on Sunday. So if I still feel crappy Monday, I can call and get a prescription or whatever. My ears started hurting today. Today is Thursday. I still have a little bit of a sore throat. Not bad. Not like it was yesterday. And I have the runny nose. I still have a little cough. <coughs> Excuse me. See? Just like that. It's just a little thing. And so... Um, I just, I got a cold and I don't have a fever. I've been sitting out in the sun trying to get some vitamin D. All my vitamins are up here because I packed them in the camper so I didn't have to take them. So I took those this morning. Orange juice. I got plenty of orange juice. I can get more orange juice. So all you do, I mean, there's nothing I can't do here that I can't do at home. And I'm not going anywhere. I'm inside our camper. We're not around people I like there is nobody around me I mean there's campers up here but they're well over 20 feet away so I'm not worried about getting anybody sick and plus we have that micron what's it called micron antiseptic spray whatever so I've been spraying the camper and stuff just fine although last night he this morning he started sneezing I'm like uh oh He's going to get it now. And I'm the one that needs to worry. I'm the one that didn't have the vaccine. And they have. So, so far it's just a cold. I don't feel any different. I don't have body aches or headache or any of that crap. I don't have any of that. Just a runny nose and a little sore throat. I think it's allergies. The, um, every year about this time when the sagebrush comes out, and when they cut hay, it's nasty. Everybody gets sick. And there's really not a whole lot anybody can do, you know. So even if it had turned up to be the nasty, nasty, nasty stuff, they would. I asked the doctor when I was in there, I said, so what happens if we do come down with it? What do we do? And they just send you home and you take what I've been doing, medicines and stuff. And if it gets so you can't breathe... Then you got to go back to the hospital. Well, to me, that all these symptoms and stuff sounds like RSV. And Ariel had that when she was an infant. And it's nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. They turn blue. They can't breathe. It's bad. So I can imagine if it's anything like that, yeah, you don't want it. But I did talk to him about the vaccines and stuff. It was an opportunity to talk to my doctor. And I recommend anybody that is on the seat about this like I am to go talk to your doctor about the different vaccines there's three and it's like how do you know what one to take how do you know what one's going to be good for you I mean is there one better for women than men or kids or whatever you know so I wanted him to explain to me the difference between them and what kind of reactions and stuff I'm scared to death I don't want to have any reactions or anything I mean I've been thinking about it. I mean I'm absolutely not against it it's your right your body you do what's right for you Jeff did it Ariel did it um I'm just on the fence I'm just not totally sold on it but I think I'm leaning towards the Pfizer one and I'll tell you why and it's because the whatever it is in there that Oh. Hold on. Sorry about that. Uh, Ariel just caught a fish, and I had to go get the walkie-talkie. He was telling me they, she just caught a huge rainbow. That's awesome. They just left, so that's funny that they just got that. Anyway, the Pfizer one, um, he explained it that um, it has, I mean, it doesn't have the actual virus. It has the genio makeup of it or whatever. And there's so much in this shot, so much in this one, and so much in this one. Well, the Pfizer one is the one that doesn't have 
as many so it's the lower dose and I think that's why you have to have two you know in a way but that's the one I'm leaning towards because it doesn't have as much of the protein in it that um, a lot of people have in side effects. I mean, it affects just like the flu shot, you know, it affects everybody different. So I don't know. I'm still on the fence. And if you're on the fence, just do your research. Don't listen to the TV. And I know it's scary by watching the TV and stuff, but don't watch the TV. <laughs> don't listen to it and just go talk to your doctor. And I recommend talking to your doctor about it. And I may go back in to visit with him before I make a total decision on it. But anyways, so I'm contemplating getting better. Um, that, and Ariel's fine now. I mean, she still has a boogie nose and stuff, but she says she feels well, just like she wasn't sick other than the he knows so anyway that's my thoughts on it I didn't really want to get into it or nothing but I'm scared I mean to be honest I'm 56 years old and I'm terrified of it I mean I was scared when my husband went and did it I was scared when Ariel went and did it I, I constantly watch her and I mean it, it's new and there's not a lot of information about it so yeah, I'm terrified. I'm way terrified. So I'm not on, I'm not against it by any means and any of that, but it's up to you. So I just, I know I don't, I'm not alone, you know, but I just don't know what to do. I mean, my daughter went and got it. My son has not. My other son has not. And they're not going to unless it's really pushed, you know, but they're not going to go get it done. But my daughters have, and they're fine. <laughs> so I haven't talked to any other relatives um, to see if they have or not. Um, I have a couple of friends that have not, but I also have friends that have. So I don't know. And they just, the way they explain it to me is like, yes, it's scary, but the alternative is even scarier. And that's true. You know, that is true. So, I don't know. Where I, I suffer so bad with anxiety and all that. I mean, I am terrified. <laughs> so, I would probably have an instantaneous panic attack when I go. Honestly. I'm just not. I don't know. I don't know. But I have Mr. Man with me. And he always makes me feel better. So this is the little outfit I picked. I think I showed it in my camping two video. It's the little sailboats because I think I might take him out on the boat tomorrow. And, um, and get a video of him out there on the, on the, on the boat. I think that would be fun. My husband would probably have a fit though. He knows that, uh, I mean, he's supportive, you know, in my little hobby here. He knows that it, in my mind, it helps me, but he's like, why, why don't I help you? I said, it's different. You do, but it's different. It's totally different. And I don't know how to explain it to him. It has nothing against him or nothing. It's just something about Mr. Tan Man. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. He's so cute. Yes, you are. Oh, my goodness, guys. He is just a little doll. Literally a doll. And I know he's not real. It's just holding him and stuff that just makes me, I don't know, just makes me feel better. So we sprayed his hair. Let's, this is the um, cologne stuff. And where's your hat? I brought this one hat because it, oh, actually I brought another hat too. And later we'll do his jammy video. But right now we'll just do his. We changed him. He's all clean. I'm not going to put his shoes on him. But I am going to feed him. I am going to give him a little. Look at your bow with these. Yeah. 
If I cough, I apologize. I try to edit it out, but I might not be able to edit all of it out. But I'll try. I got a cough drop in my mouth, so hopefully that helps. But I can't imagine. I don't know. I just. But I'm going to be alone up here. <laughs> He's going to drive the Hummer back when they get back from fishing. Like, I have no idea what time it is. I have to go look. And it's going to take an hour and a half. Let's see, it takes me 50 minutes to get to Richfield, and then it's another half hour, maybe, from Richfield to here. So, it's a little over an hour, one way. And then he's got to drop it off, and he's going to have to go back up to the house. He'll probably check the house out, and then he'll bring the car up. And I feel better about driving a car home. <laughs> anyway, we've had so many problems with my Hummer that... I think we're going to end up having to, we spent like five grand this summer fixing it and it's still not fixed. So it just keeps breaking. Other things just keep happening. So I guess it's a sign, but I want a four wheel drive vehicle. So we're going to see his one loan is up in December. I mean, he's going to fix the Hummer as it is right now, but I think after that, I'll drive it as much as I can until it breaks down again. And then we're going to get another loan after, because this one's almost paid off. So we'll get another loan and we'll go get a four wheel drive um, uh, F-150. I mean, it's it's got to be able to pull the boat. So we'll get another and I can still use it for, you know, driving and stuff. I drive the car around town and stuff just because it's better on gas. It's like 20 bucks to fill it up. So now we have three, but we had to let one go because he was too little. Oh. That's awesome. And technically they're both mine, but could you let him go? Why? He lets them go. If, cause we don't eat them. And the one she just caught, the big one, is um, it ate it. So we have to keep that one. It's a rainbow. She caught a rainbow trout. And, um, we don't need your hat on right now. And so the, she just caught two, two more and dad is going to throw them back and she doesn't want to throw them back. So that's funny. Oh, well, dad just let the biggest fish of the day go. <laughs> so she's not happy. But. Now I spent like 10 minutes reeling in. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, baby. You can catch more. Ooh, no, I can't. I, told, I got a baby fish, and Dad said it wasn't on there, and then it was. <laughs> so you can see. Uh, I, I'm, I'll probably leave that in so you guys can hear it. She it was a baby rainbow. It was a baby one. So that's pretty cute. So she's having fun with her dad. I can go out on the boat. Dad, let it go. Um, I can go out on the boat, but I don't want to stay out there for three hours. And that's how long they stay out. And so tomorrow, I think I'll drive the car down. They'll drive the truck down. And I'll go out. And then when I want to come back, I can just drive back up here. And I'm still not feeling... I didn't want to go out there. I want to because it's the new boat. And he says it works great. He's having a good time with it. But he's got to... Um, He's got to fix the, oh, there's something, there's some minor thing that he has to clean out. No big deal. And he can do that because this is our last trip up here. <clears throat> and he'll click, get it all set and everything for next year and everything. So, yeah, it'll be fun. So, I think you had a little bit there. Let's get your burp cloth out. <clears throat> And I, you saw me pack everything up. I had to go find everything again. And there you go, bubbles. Yeah. So he'll, I think that's all he'll do. And then I'll be back with a nighttime one in a while. 
when they head back down to the house, I'll, I can do a couple of videos or whatever, and it'll keep me busy and make me something to eat while they're gone. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Listen to me rant. You got to hear Ariel catch a fish. <laughs> That's so cute. So, I think tomorrow we'll go out on the boat and I'll get some, I'll bring my, um, iPad with me and stuff and you figure out how I can set it up and I may have to hold it set it up and hold it and we'll take some video of of Mr. Man out on the boat we'll take some video on, out on the boat try to get a couple of clips of with him, with him and then I'll get some pictures up out on the water and stuff so you guys can see it and I can share it with you so yeah that is about it and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Well, we're at the lake. It's a different spot this time. It's down at the very lowest end. And last time I couldn't take real good video. So I thought I would take some video of the lake. <clears throat> There's the dock. That's where our boat is. It's down there. And yeah, so it's, it's kind of cloudy, but it's way pretty up here. It's really pretty. It's beautiful. We got a tree for the dogs. And then we got some pine trees right there. So yeah, so that's the beginning. I will be back in uh, a while or later 